Thank you, John. Thank you, Todd, so much for your remarks. And Steve, thank you. Uh, we appreciate it so much. Uh, we're going to do a little tag team here uh, as we talk about some things for, that we've been involved in with the last 50 years. So again, I, I want to say good evening to all of you. And we're so pleased to be here tonight and so honored to be recognized with the Boulder Distinguished Citizen Award. And it's a pleasure to be recognized alongside Eagle Scout Lucas Chan from Troop 171. <laughs> and Boulder Fire Lieutenant Greg Spencer, who both serve the, uh, the Boulder community with distinction. So thanks to both of you. I also want to sincerely, I also want to sincerely thank the Adventure West Council BSA for this honor and for all you do to support young people and enhance our, and enhance our community. I want to share a bit this evening uh, about what I've learned and what we've learned over the past 50 years at the university and being part of the Boulder community, about the value of being part of a community and about practicing, uh, practicing leadership at any age. But before I do that, I want Yvonne to say a few words as well. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you, Steve, for thinking so highly of us. We love you back. And it's been truly a privilege to be a part of the Boulder community and the University of Colorado. Our 50 years here uh, have been exceptionally sweet. And we've loved um, being a part of the community over the years as our children were growing and we were volunteering or participating in activities with the Boulder Valley School District or with the university. I'd also like to thank our daughter Jennifer and her husband Matt, our son-in-law, for being here this evening and all those faces of dear friends of the heart that are here, as well as all of the community and colleagues from the university that have come in too. We thank you very much. And we wish uh, the Boy Scouts all the, uh, the adventure uh, group instead. It's delightful to see the women in it, that it's now co-ed. <laughs> Pay attention to this and help bring them in a whole lot of money. Thank you. So our, you know, our journey started uh, 50 years ago. And I was reflecting upon uh, my recruiting visit uh, when I came to CU Boulder in the spring of 1974. And uh, at the time, spouses and partners weren't invited. So for the recruiting trip, it was just me. And we had never been, neither one of us had ever been to Colorado. And I was being recruited by uh, the University of Texas, the University of Wisconsin at Madison, and the University of Colorado. And I came to Colorado uh, without Javon. And um, I was put up right here on Arapaho uh, and Broadway at the University Inn, which is still here. Uh, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I asked Stephen Tebow last night if I could have that room just for a night for the two of us, you know, to, to, to reminisce about 50 years ago. Uh, we had dinner uh, on Pearl Street. There wasn't a mall at the time. And we, it was a Mexican restaurant, Tico's restaurant, that many of you might both, you know, remember. Uh, and after, after dinner, I was dropped off at, at, at the hotel and uh, the faculty member who dropped me off said, okay, tomorrow morning, because I had to give my research talk the next day, tomorrow morning, walk up the hill, and if you like breakfast, you can stop, and some of you will remember Chris's Kettle, which was on uh, uh, Broadway, but don't spend more than $5. <laughs> and, and so I had, you know, something for breakfast that turned out to be, you know, $4.50. But we were, you know, I couldn't spend more than, than $5. And, but I had this wonderful visit 
about the university, and I had this wonderful visit with faculty and with staff and with students. And my advisor at the time said, forget Colorado. You know, you need to go to Wisconsin, you know, Madison. You need to go to Texas. You need to go somewhere that's ranked higher than those two, uh, than, than the University of Colorado Boulder. Um, but when Boulder called, I accepted the job because I saw that there was something. <laughs> there was something about, about Boulder and there was something about the university that was so attractive to me. And I was, I was kidding around with, with my new colleague, Stephanie Johnson, uh, the other day. Uh, she went to Cal Poly and, and that was, they talked about the, maf the Cal Poly ma Mafia, you know. And, at, in my school of education, it was the Stanford Mafia, and I came out of Ohio State, and I broke up that whole Stanford Mafia uh, in our building. And so I, I took the job at Colorado, and I promised Yvonne that if things weren't going well, if we didn't like it, we would just stay three or four years. But being both of us first-generation college students, this university offered me opportunities that I could never dream of. And um, as you know, I've been here 50 years. I was chancellor for 15. To give you some comparison, uh, in the Association of American Universities, which is the top organization for research university, 71 uh, universities, public and private. So you have Harvard, Yale, Princeton on the, on the private side, Stanford on the public side, Berkeley, UCLA, Colorado, Illinois, Ohio State, and so on. As president for the presidents and chancellors, I was the only one who was at one university for my entire career. Uh, and, and, when I was, and when I was being recruited by other institutions early on, uh, and I kept saying, no, I'm not interested, I'm not interested. And finally, uh, a few of the headhunters said, what is it with you? You can get more money, you can have better perks um, if, you, if you move. And I thought back to raising our children here, uh, being in this wonderful community, being at this wonderful university. And um, that outweighed all the money and the perks and I did, and I know Jay's probably not here, but I'm probably the only chancellor who has a signature dish <laughs> at Pasta Jay's. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, so tonight, Friday night, Friday night and Saturday is Seafood De Stefano. So uh, <laughs> please go there and, and order. Jay keeps telling me he's gonna give me a kickback, but so far nothing like that's happened. <laughs> So, you know, we, we are truly blessed to be in this community. And, uh, and that's why I worked so hard and, and stayed here to work with the community, to get things done in this community that I believe have not been done before, and to have the, really the strongest town-gown relationship. And now, um, as I transition to uh, the Center for Leadership, uh, my colleague, and I don't know if Stephanie's here or not, but she told me she might be here because her husband, uh, Peter, is an Eagle Scout. Um, but Stephanie is uh, a wonderful faculty member from the Leeds School of Business. She's the director of our Center for Leadership. I'm the executive director uh, of the center. And what we're trying to do is build leadership teams across the campus for our students. It's so important. and for scouts who are out there, leadership is for everybody. It's not just for certain groups of individuals, but everyone can thrive as a leader. Uh, and what we're doing in, with the Boulder community, I believe is somewhat unique. Uh, we have a wonderful mentor, mentee uh, program from the Center for Leadership that works here in the Boulder community. Uh, and Bob Yates, our former uh, city council member, who's a member of our advisory board of the Center for Leadership, uh, is taking that on as a lead. And last year, we had about 25 to 30 mentor-mentees. Uh, this year, 
uh, our goal is to get past 50, to go close to 60 or 70, with the following of a, a year of about 100 mentors and mentees. And this is a wonderful way uh, for our students to connect with leaders, uh, both in the business community and with city council, with, uh, uh, with the staff there, on being a, a mentor-mentee relationship. Uh, we have other plans. We, we are doing Lori Call, who's working closely with us, uh, is with the Ambassadors Program. We, there's a wonderful Ambassadors Program here in the city in Boulder. We started one on the Hill, and it's a way to bring the neighbors and the students together. So my goal as chancellor for the, for the past 15 years, and Yvonne and I have done so much volunteer work, is to work with the community and to make sure that the community you know, thrives as well as the university because we're partners together. And I can't imagine another university in the country that has partnered with the city as we have for Boulder South. And I wanna thank the city council for that and I wanna thank the voters for their support for Boulder South because that's where we can put our affordable housing for faculty and staff which, who cannot now live in the area because of the cost of housing. And also for, also for the wonderful relationship we have with the city in building the Conference Center Hotel uh, on Broadway and University. It'll be finished a year from now, and it'll attract so many wonderful conferences from around the world. And um, in closing, I, wanna, I just want to share one thing, and I'll turn it over to Yvonne, and then I was told that there may be questions, and, and that's fine. But in, in closing, um, I spent a week in March uh, with our Rene Crown Institute, uh, a number of our, our students, mainly undergraduate students, and alumni and donors uh, in Dharmasala, India, meeting with the Dalai Lama for three days, four days, uh, along with individual students and others from the University of Virginia and also from Stanford. And the theme of that week was leadership through compassion and courage. And that's what I'm taking to our students this fall in the Center for Leadership. You don't always think about those two terms of compassion and courage, but they meant so much to me in spending time with the Dalai Lama on how that works together, of being courageous, making tough decisions, but doing it in a way that's compassionate and doing it in a way with humility. And that's going to be my message um, for our students this coming semester starting next week as we work together in the Center for Leadership, but also to work with our community in talking about how we lead through compassion, lead, uh, courage, humility, and integrity. To me, those are the key items. So that's, that's my message. Um, I'll turn it back over to Yvonne, but I just wanna thank everyone so much for their support over the years. Uh, it's meant a great deal to me. Thank you. Well, I just want to point out that the Boulder community is a fabulous place, and we are so blessed to have lived here, and uh, will continue to live here, and we hope to see all of your wonderful faces really soon. Thank you. Thank you.